Okay, so you're going to first cook the ground beef and render out all the fat, okay? So you make this and you'll constantly just kind of, you know, go through the meat. And then once all the, the fat comes out of it, you're going to strain it. So let me just cook this up first and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I strained all the fat out. I put sofrito, you know my famous sofrito, right? I just took a bunch, big spoons full and threw them in there. So put about four or five spoons in there. Okay, and then you mix it all up. So your meat gets flavor. Okay, so now I'm throwing a little bit of sazon, give it a little color. Badia sazon. I'm throwing in a little bit of the other sazon. This is for stews and meats and stuff. A little flavor. And then I'm throwing in a little bit of smoked paprika. Again, badia. You can find it in the U.S. anywhere. A little harder to find here in Toronto, but we find it. It's just a little pricey. And a little bit of adobo. Okay, guys? And you're now going to mix all of this up. You could throw a little bouillon in there, a beef broth or vegetarian. It's up to you, whichever you want. Just mix this all up so that it gets, you know, some nice uh, flavor cut up. Okay, so I chopped some potatoes throwing that in. I cut them small because you don't want them to be too big inside the picadillo. Okay? Just kind of mix that all in. Potatoes will absorb some of the nice flavor from the meat and the fat that may continue to come out. Right? And just kind of cover that up and let it all cook. I'm chopping an onion. Okay, so my onion is chopped. Onion goes in. And again, you're going to mix everything. I like to mix the onion in there because it keeps the meat moist, you know, as onion releases a little water, so that way your meat's not dry. Mix that all in, nice. And then just throw in, after this, you're going to throw in tomato sauce. So I throw in a little red pepper flakes, depending on your tolerance of heat, because I like to give it a nice little kick. Tomato sauce, just simple tomato sauce. That's it. And you're gonna throw half a can of that in there. Okay. Mix this all up. You're gonna throw a very little bit of water, very little. Okay. Water. That's it. Okay guys. Now let this all come to a boil. You're going to cover it up and put it on high. And uh, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so this is it. Okay, all done. Nice high heat. And just so you guys know, if you don't have tomato sauce, just pure tomato sauce for all purpose, you can use tomato paste and just add the water to liquefy the paste a bit. And you can throw it all in there because you're going to add water, a little water anyway. And voila, all done. Enjoy.